good morning slash afternoon slash evening depending on what time you're looking at this video this is mom of two wife of one it is august 4th 2015 i recently asked people on my facebook friend list for topics that i could discuss on this video blog and one that kept popping up is the idea of me time for moms and it's something that I didn't quite understand when I first became a mother. I became a mother at the age of 27 in 2009. I was dating a person who I'm actually now married to. We had been together for a few years, but because we weren't married yet and because I was pregnant and I was also a leader in my church, I felt very ashamed and I felt like I had let a lot of people down. And because I had gone against God's will by not only having premarital sex, but also having a child out of wedlock, I felt like it was my duty to do everything myself. Because I made this bed, I had to lie in it, and I had to lie in it by myself. It took a lot for me to ask anybody for help, including my parents, including my boyfriend, now husband, because I felt like, because I did this, on, not did it on my own, but because I took the chance to be disobedient to God, it was my duty slash punishment to take care of everything by myself i didn't understand the concept of me time and the concept of taking a break i didn't feel like i deserved a break i felt like everything i had coming to me i deserved the sleepless nights not having time to go out with friends i felt like being a mom was supposed to be all consuming and that's all i knew at the time and that's what i did and i didn't complain i just assumed it was what i was supposed to do then when my son was seven months old, I was laid off from work, didn't know how long I was going to be out, and I started having some doubts about my own ability when it came to my job and when it came to being a mom. And I'd heard of this organization called Mocha Moms Incorporated, didn't quite know what it was about, but I knew that it was an organization that was founded to offer support to stay-at-home mothers of color never thought I'd be a stay-at-home mom. It wasn't anything I ever planned to do intentionally. But since I found myself being a stay-at-home mom once I was laid off, I decided to go to a meeting. And five years later, I'm still a member. I'm a member of two chapters right now. And I talk about Mocha Moms to every mother that I know. The main thing that I've received out of this organization is that I'm not by myself. And the things that I worried about and the things that I was anxious about and nervous about and just really on edge about when it came to being a mom like am I doing this right am I holding him too much am I feeding him too much why is he not sleeping through the night why is he sleeping too much through the night all of this anxiety I had as a brand new mother I was put at ease finally because I met all these other mothers who were either going through the same thing that I was at the same time that I was or they had already gone through this and they were able to give me hope that there is going to be something better on the other side and eventually whatever I'm going through right now I won't be going through it anymore and also being a part of Mocha Moms or just any organization that's out to support mothers specifically it reminds you the importance of having me time and the and I remember a Mocha Mom took me aside one day I think I'd been a member for maybe a year and she said that as the not head of the family but as the mother of the family the nurturer the one who's caring for everybody else if I don't take that me time and do things just for me if I don't make sure that I'm happy I'm fed I have plenty of stuff to drink I have you know the exercise I have things that make me happy I have other hobbies if I don't take care of myself then I'm absolutely no good to anybody else I can't be at the time again a girlfriend couldn't be the best girlfriend I wanted to be. Definitely couldn't be the best mom I wanted to be if I wasn't the best woman that I could be. And there's a concept, again, that never entered my mind at all. It never crossed my mind that I needed to work on myself. And it's not a matter of, you know, therapy or anything like that, but it's just a matter of having that time to just do stuff for yourself. It doesn't have to be every single day. Maybe not every single week. Depending on your schedule, you may not be able to get away every single week. But I encourage every mother out there, not specifically talking to mothers. I know fathers, that's a whole other subject that I can't speak on because I'm not a father. But for mothers out there, you need that time to just be by yourself or just to be with other women. With Mocha Moms, it's an organization for mothers. So a lot of our events that we have are family friendly. We can bring our husbands, spouses, boyfriends. We can bring 
our children but every month we have something that is just for moms called mom's night out and it could be going to a restaurant going to the movies going horseback riding going to a painting class whatever it is it's a chance for you to go and just take a break from being a mom and take a break from being a wife because as much as all the moms i know as much as they love their husbands love their children you need a break from them. Even if it's just a platonic relationship. I love my close girlfriends. I love, you know, my parents. I love whoever. But there's still times where I need a break from them. Because sometimes it's a lot to try to be there for everybody else. It's a lot sometimes to try to be the best wife. It's a lot sometimes to try to be the best mom. You do need those breaks where you just do something that's just for you. When I go to these events... I'm going not as a mother and I'm going not as a wife. I'm going just as a woman. And it's a great feeling to just embrace womanhood and be with other women who are embracing womanhood. And even though sometimes we may talk about our children or talk about our husbands or whatever, for the most part, it's just us getting out of the house and doing something together. Even if it's only for two hours. For those two hours, I don't have to worry about a husband asking me what's for dinner. I don't have to worry about a child asking me to tie their shoe or to check their homework. I don't have to worry about cleaning up after someone, doing some laundry, washing some dishes, cooking a meal. I don't have to worry about any of that. It's so important for mothers specifically to have me time, especially if you are a single mother. Now, those who are married sometimes run into this issue as well, where even though you're married and you have that person who is your partner, who is, you know, your, your lifeline, that's your best friend in the world. As a mom, you're still the one doing the bulk of the work. The husband helps a lot, but at least in my house, my children, even if my husband and I are both in the same room, my children will still come to me and say, Mommy, can you help me with this? Mommy, can I watch a movie? Mommy, can I have a snack? Mommy, can we do this? Mommy, can you do this? Husband can be sitting directly beside me, but Mommy is still the one who gets asked all the questions because they're used to Mommy being the nurturer, and they're used to Mommy just providing what they need. So this blog is all about me time for moms. Mocha Moms is an amazing organization. If you have never heard of it, please visit www.mocha, M-O-C-H-A, moms, M-O-M-S, dot O-R-G. I've been a member for the past five years. It's done so much for my self-esteem as a mother, for my self-esteem as a wife, for my self-esteem as a woman in general. I'm reminded with every meeting and every conversation I have with fellow Mocha that I'm not by myself in this journey to be the best person that I could possibly be. So check out that organization. Check out other organizations that you may know of that are geared towards supporting and loving and encouraging moms. And make sure that you find that me time sometime in the next day, the next week, the next year. Make sure that you have a set amount of me time that you have every month, every quarter, or whatever. But you need that time to be the best person that you can be.